Hello, hello, what is up, everybody? We are ready to roll with a maple bar. Can't go wrong with a little maple. Uh, we'll call her a day. We are in, of course. Oh, thanks for watering nothing. Uh, all good, Sophia. I appreciate the thought. The thought is what counts. Uh, as you can see, we are loaded up on battery packs. I love to see it. Let's go with those here first as, uh, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. We need these. These are good, <laughs> to say the least. All right, uh, let's put them away. And we got, oh, we got star fruit. That's right. We got so many things to get done today. Uh, we're not until the 15th, which I believe is tomorrow. I just want to confirm. Yeah, tomorrow. For those guys our fruits getting auto harvested but we have all this star fruit we have melons oh baby it is time to have a bit of fun with some harvesting today uh it's gonna be our first little bit of star fruit so that means junimo hut uh is right on the precipice here which is pretty darn awesome uh down here we got uh all of our goats and stuff and sheep, they're all frustrated because, guess what? I forgot to feed them yesterday. Indeed. Indeed. All right. In the meantime, we are going crazy. Let's get ourselves our star fruit across the board here. Sadly, it is a fruit. It's not a vegetable, right, that we need uh, from for Pierre there. But uh, you know what? It's okay. Uh, let's grab our melons. That's good. I did plant those radishes yesterday, so that's going to be very important for us as well. And uh, yeah, otherwise, we have a whole bunch of star fruit. This is one of the best ways to go in the long run here with, uh, with the game because star fruit into star fruit wine is highly, highly lucrative financially. Uh, ancient fruit is also very, very good, but I believe, uh, based on people's numbers and the timing and things like that, you can get a little bit more out of star fruit in the min-maxing sense. I don't care quite as much about the min-maxing sense, but, uh, you know, I need the Junimo huts is what I need. And we need 200 star fruit for that cinder snap forest. Uh, quest as well, the missing quest. Uh, we also should have the uh, theater now, I believe. So we could actually get theater tickets and uh, go see a show with Sophia, which could be a lot of fun. We'll, uh, we'll explore that as we go. Uh, that grass is not kosher. Get out of my farm. Thank you. <laughs> we cannot be having that creep in there and destroying a crop or something. Okay, that gets us barely the 200, I think. And I think I want Junimo's first. Okay, so we are... I don't believe I have any more of the seeds. Let's double check. I have pineapple, strawberry. Um, I don't think I have any more starfruit seeds. So we might have to run out to the desert. We do have that other iridium sprinkler, which is good. Yeah. Okay. We might have to run out to the desert to get some more. Uh, in the meantime, though, ooh, let's go put away the melons. Yeah. Like so. Good. Okay. Let's jump on down. Let's go see the trader quickly. And then we have to uh, basically get ourselves good to go. Also, as you can see in the top, we have... Uh, recorded that the topaz is west emerald is south so i did go back and i looked at the previous footage and uh that's exactly what it was so not a big deal um should i buy the sandfish i guess i don't have it might as well uh let's pop on down to the wizard here and see uh i don't remember what all i need for a junimo hut I probably don't even have the positioning quite right based on my farm and setup. I need 200 stone and 100 fiber. Okay. So I'm going to grab that 
And then, uh, yeah, we need to buy more star fruit. We need to plant more star fruit because we need 200. So I need basically the exact same thing that we just did again. Uh, and that's barely scratching the surface of our total uh, environment. So uh, without further ado, ooh, that's not a lot of stone to say the least. I'm going to double check my, uh, my quick little image here that I have that is prepared for uh, some of those things as well. And uh, we'll put that in there. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I do want to save. Uh, do I? I think I want to sell all but the regular. Uh, gold. Yeah, let's sell at least the 15. Right? Let's sell the 15 gold. I think that will help with that. So we'll get our collection completed. And then I think I'm just going to save the rest uh, across the board. Where did we have our melons? In here? Okay. That's fair. Um, is it though? I guess it's fine. I really don't know what the dull seaweed is truly for. I kind of want to store some stuff in here. So let me just move this over to here. That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, and then on that note, I do need... Oh, geez. I forget what it was. Uh, we'll just take the whole the whole lot. All right. Let me take a look at my image here. I need to reconfigure some space. Okay. Back down here. Let's get our first Junimo hut. This is awesome. I am so stoked for this. Uh, let's just double check where I'm at here. Because it doesn't give you the best in terms of the setup. But it looks like... I am right about here, I believe. So let's do that, like so. And that should then allow us to harvest everything else that we need. We can only buy the one due to our lack of stone, of all things, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to have to go stone mining. Um, that's not ideal. Or maybe we just do... I know we have to... Uh, we have... Let's see, we have the Ginger Island on the 16th. We have cranberries tomorrow. Maybe we go to the desert today. Oh, hello. So it is true. I heard you convinced the Junimos to move in, but I had to see it for myself. Uh, I am Rasmodius. I appear before you as the mighty initial configuration wizard, tamer of the arcane. There are a few things you need to know about the Junimos. Shall I go on? Uh, uh, please. Very well. First, the Junos may have have many abilities, animal, vegetable, and mineral, but they need items, which they will request from you to perform each ability. You only need to supply the items once, then the Junos can perform that ability forever. Or I suppose I could just summon all the items they'll ever need right now. What will it be? Um, please unlock all the abilities. <laughs> I like that. Um... I, I don't remember what they need, but you know what? I just want them to work. Sorry. Uh, I understand you wield a hoe, not a sword. Secondly, the Junimos need to be paid for their hard work. Each day, you need to give them a fruit, flower, or forage item, and they'll get to work. But there is another way. I could cast a spell to convince them to work for free. Oh, boy. That spell thing for free. <laughs> Ah, uh, perfect. Um, there's a box outside the hut. Put in seeds, fertilizer, wages, and items they request. Take out the crops and forage their harvest. Also, a note in the hut that tells you if they're working and what they need. Read it if you're confused about what they're doing. Uh, the Junimos can enter your greenhouse if it's within walking distance of their hut. Interesting. They will not travel farther than that, though. Okay. Finally, you can change the working arrangements at any time. It's very flexible. Okay, that's good to know. Um, shall I show you the things you can change? Uh, no, I can look at the options later. This is very good, though, right? Like, I picked... I think standard, they just work, right? I can't remember, to be honest. It's been a while since I've got to Junimos in vanilla. 
Um, I think they just work. You don't have to supply them with stuff, right? You guys can correct me that in the chat. But either way, we're going to go with that first. And then we can always add to it as well. We can make it uh, so that it's a little bit more complicated on our Junimos for the future. Okay. But there we go. We got our Junimos. Nice, nice, nice. All right. I do want to grab, uh, not the life elixir, the sprinklers. Okay. Let's grab the sprinklers and let's um, put those away. And I do want to do a quick job here of reconfiguring things slightly, or at least just maximizing things, I think is probably the better way to say it. So I do want to maximize this space a little bit more than what I have been. So let's just do that. And this will get us basically all of the land that we just missed out on, right? Um, for the Junimos, which is good. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's really much of a need. Uh, we don't have water there. Okay, let's do that. We don't have water in these zones, but that's okay. And I don't have water here. I may just do that to maximize a little bit better. It's not ideal, but it'll work. Little things like that. Okay, as we go. All right. Um, otherwise, I think we are good. I could always throw down there. You know, I could always get more on the sides, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. So our Junimos, okay, they have a large inventory. That is great. And we're telling it to pick up, add to existing stacks. Okay, good. I think that's all the settings we truly require for now. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to put these guys away. And I think a trip out to the desert is in order. All right, so we're going to head on off to the desert. I don't remember what's for sale, but that's fine. Let's just head on over. I think I need about 223 or 225 uh, star fruit for the area. And I do also have to confirm the date. Uh, will they grow, uh, basically, is the other question that I have. Um, so that's something to consider as well. Uh, you, what did you have today? I don't remember. I should start getting some, actually, I don't need artifact troves because I'm just missing items, right? So, yeah, uh, is it the green? I don't remember what it is. Butterfly hatch on this day. Yeah, all things considered, not a big deal. Okay, let's pop into Sea Sandy and let's grab ourselves the beautiful, uh, do I have anything that I can give you? Maybe a coffee? This looks wonderful. No problem. Uh, I forgot to bring her a gift. That's fine. Okay, so we need two... 230. Sure. Oh, bye-bye money. That's a lot of seeds, I'm not going to lie. But uh, it is what it is. Um... I didn't bring any bombs with me or anything like that, but uh, I do know that I need some stone. So this isn't going to be the most exciting of runs. I'm just going in for stone. I could take the elevator. <laughs> no, I'm just going in for stone, so I'm not going to be too concerned about the rest of this stuff. We're just going to pop a little bit of food and luck, put on our slime charmer, and uh, I'm actually going to be mining most of it. So, yeah, we're just going to be mining rock. Super exciting, right? Um, but yeah, so lots of rock mining to come. I'll see you guys when we're done. Hey, Iridium. I mean, I'll take that too. Don't get me wrong. Hey, we got a little auto grabber. Can't go wrong with that. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we've been doing okay so far. Far from amazing, but uh, well, uh, that's just a nice little reward, to say the least. Uh, had to had to at least show that one. I've definitely been kind of just blasting through where I can. Um, going on down. I don't have any more bombs. Uh, luckily, I've been pretty lucky with some sea serpent bombs, uh, which is good. They've dropped a few for me, so 
Uh, that's helped progress us a little bit here. But, uh, yeah, keep on going. All right, we're coming to a close here. And, of course, they give me some iridium, you know. Level 36. That's pretty normal. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, just grab these guys. I'm going to take a quick gl glance and boom, let's head on back home. I guess I probably should have headed home a lot earlier. I didn't really think about it while I was out there just having so much fun. Um, in terms of, well, I did not. Oh, my wood. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all that wood? Holy cow. Um, I did not really think about the fact that I was supposed to plant my starfruit here still tonight. So, yeah, that's a thing as well. Um, don't don't tell anyone. But, uh, yeah, we're probably not going to get it planted here tonight, which is really too bad. I was kind of planning on that. Anyways, uh, so let's throw that in there. Uh, that'll be good. The auto grabber is actually quite nice. We'll... Uh, We'll utilize that ASAP here uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, a little bit of a setback, to say the least, for sure. Um, on the starfruit, forgot all about it. I was having just too much fun. I didn't even see how much I ended up with, like 200 or so stone. Technically, I think enough to buy another Junimo hut. But uh, the fact that I am this low... Oh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, too, on the island. Ooh, that's very good. That's very good. I love that. Okay. Um, happy to see that. Okay. Either way, uh, yeah, not the greatest of runs. We may do that again today after harvesting ooh, Tom Kaw soup from Sandy and a rainbow shell. Are you serious, Demetrius? I've waited ages for one of those. Oh, boy. I'd like to give my wife a starfruit for her anniversary. Okay, Kent. Okay, Kent. No problem. We can do that. Um. Oh, my God. A rainbow shell. You've got to be kidding me. Like, how long did I wait for one of those? And then he just gives me one. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Don't worry. I will get my revenge. All right. I will get my revenge. It's fine. <laughs> all right. In the meantime, I'm going to plant all these star fruits. Looks like we have some uh, blueberries to harvest. We have cranberries to harvest. So uh, we got animals to take care of. We got the auto grabber to place as well. Uh, so much to get done, to say the least, around the farm today. Um, but I'm also kind of thinking that we might go do that again, if you don't mind. Um, so, like, we might do the same thing. We might head over to the desert. We might actually do the same thing again. Um, these guys, udders, have got to be just swollen at this point in time. Anyways, uh, let's throw down our auto grabber right there. That'll help quite a bit um, in terms of getting at least that produce going. Um, but... I do need to build a chest for it as well, so I need to make a chest. There's lots upon lots upon lots to get done here today. Okay, so it's now 3 p.m. All of the star fruit is planted, which is good. Um, I just finished collecting all of the blueberries, cranberries, and ancient fruit that we had. Um, I don't recall, am I keeping blueberries? I should be, right? Ancient fruit I'm turning into seeds, which is important. Uh, so we'll get those guys going as well. Um, what else am I doing? Blueberries. Am I am I keeping them or am I selling them? I honestly don't remember. Um, I have some in here. You know what? Let's keep... Not that many. Let's keep 100. Sure. What would we ever need 100 for? I don't know. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to sell the rest of those. That should be a healthy payday, which is something we were actually in a dire need of uh, because we we're kind of lacking in terms of that old spectrum here on this here Monday. So let's update this now. This will now be it's five days, right? Every five days. So now it's the 20th, I believe. Um, did I caps lock please 
No? I didn't caps lock. What did I, what, what's going on? EH. There we go. Did I hold shift? I must have held shift. All right. Uh, this guy as well. Um, we want to edit for at least one more of those. That's good. And we need only... Yeah, I think it's still 18 for that. So that's good. Ginger Island tomorrow. That'll be good. And uh, what else? We need to get stone right stone is the big thing here um for us we need to bring a star fruit for kent that shouldn't be too too bad uh it's actually quite easy let's go and run into town and get that done before too long and i have to still build the chest for the goat area which maybe i keep the goats i don't know I'm so conflicted on that front. Kent's behind his house. Uh, let's go and give him a star fruit. There you go. This looks so juicy. Mm, extra juice. All right. Uh, in terms of that, Kent, are you maxed now? Yes, indeed. That is awesome. Okay. So another one bites the dust, to say the least. That's very good. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to swing on over. I think, oh, we got a quest today. It's a Monday. Homemade fertilizer. Um, some freshly made quality fertilizer. Okay. Ever since I was a little girl, I've wanted my own fairy rose garden. Can anyone help me? That is a terrible quest, my darling. I do not have fairy roses as they are a fall crop so let's try for the susan qual homemade fertilizer 50 quality fertilizer drop off quality fertilizer at susan's okay what do i need to make quality fertilizer again any fish 50 fish Whew. that's a lot of fish that's a lot of fish um but let's head on over to our bee area we should be getting ourselves some poppy honey which is quite nice does this tree just keep growing? Yeah, these are naturally growing trees. Look at that. Tw 30 grand. Woo wee. That is amazing. Uh, let's take those and let's sell them all. That's a lot of honey right there. I will gladly take it. We should invest in more bee houses. <laughs> is what is going through my mind. All right. So we definitely still need more star fruit. We need the 200 for the cinder snap farm. Uh, let's get our $500 there. We're still trying to get Pierre's uh, produce done. And what else do we have down here? Any rainbow shells to think of? No. No rainbow shells. Okay. Not a big deal. I think for the rest of today, uh, sadly to say, there's not too, too much that we need to get done. And we're not going to go all the way back to... Um, to the desert at this point in time. Pam's leaving. It's just not worth it at this time. So I think we're going to work around on the farm a little bit. I might even go around and collect some items to sell because we haven't done that in a while and our money's a little low. So uh, without further ado, I do need to get a chest first. Um, let's get that done before I completely forget. And uh, let's get on over to these guys here. And then we'll at least start to get some uh, hay and, or some goat milk, uh, goat cheese again, and some wool from those guys, which isn't a bad thing at all. On that note as well, I'm going to, we're not getting wool here anymore. So let's remove the loom out of this function and we'll move it down to where the sheep is, right? Kind of just simple little formatting things as we go. Okay, so there we go. Excellent. I'm not even going to worry about harvesting them or anything like that. We are just moving forward, uh, to say the least. Let's pop into each of these and let's take a look and see what we want to sell. Um, we got some dino mayo. All right. We got a lot of just straight up mayo. Golden mayo at 30 grand. Whew. I'll take it. Over here, I think we have even more, uh, to say the least. 95,000 in truffle oil. Yes, please. 
we won't have the goat cheese wheels over here anymore. So we'll get rid of those. And you know what? I think it's time for us to upgrade our food while we're at it. So let's pop on over to our shipping container. We're going to sell the goat cheese. We're going to sell the truffle oil, the mayo. I'm going to sell the regular cheese wheels. And we're going to substitute in for some golden ones for a little bit of an upgrade. That feels nice. Now, for the quality fertilizer, do I have 50 fish? Oh, do I ever. Excellent. I love it. Um, I think... Have we put in a fish here? Did we put... This is... This is done. Oh, okay. Good. Let's do that as well. I forgot that we completed that. All right. Let's throw in a blobfish for now. I was kind of debating between that and the midnight squid. But uh, we'll just throw in a blobfish... Uh, get them done. You know, pearls and rain to or farm totems are not a bad one at all. I would like to put in more like stardew crops or stardew expanded stuff, and we probably will over time. But uh, for right now, uh, we'll get that done. Okay, 50 quality fertilizer for Sandy. Very nice. Drop the fertilizer off at her chest. No big deal. Let's get that done. Oh, and apparently a cutscene as well. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, no, no, this isn't right at all. Uh-oh. What are you doing, Susan? Yes, come in. Oh, wow, I didn't just barge into the house. I knocked? What is that madness? <laughs> we don't just knock around here. Uh, what a joy to see you. I'm having a bit of trouble with this crafting recipe. I don't suppose you could give it a go. Uh, sure. She's obviously not the best crafter in the world, hey? By the looks of it. I'm attempting to craft this slanted wardrobe for a dear friend of mine, but I can't seem to get a grasp on this part here with the metal bearings. Okay, she's she is at least attempting a more difficult uh, craft. Uh, you think you can craft this? Please go right ahead. Absolutely, I can craft it. I am the craft master. Let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. Nailed it. I told you. I'm good. I'm good. What can I say? I'm like max level. Didn't you know that? Where'd you learn to craft? I've been crafting for a long time, and I know talent when I see it. Well, uh, I've been learning on my own. You taught yourself to craft like that without any help? Ah, you're gifted. True. I'm so gifted. You know, we're both excellent at woodworking, but in different ways. We learn a lot from each other. True. There's something I want to teach you that I know you'll use. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. Let's go. Uh, Susan shared crafting techniques with me. Casks, kegs, and preserve jar now require less wood. I have lots of wood, though. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, though, at all. Uh, in the meantime, let's get that quest completed while we're at it for the homemade fertilizer and all of that dough. Let's do it. That's perfect. That'll help quite a bit. Overall, uh, we should craft together again sometime. There's a lot I can learn from you. Indeed. Um, in the meantime, uh, I can just use your thing? Okay. I mean, let's just make some triple espressos. Don't mind me, Susan. Just going to use your uh, your stove there. It's fine. All right, cool. We got that done here today. That is awesome, uh, to say the least. That's very, very good. Um, I think tomorrow, I think I need stone still. We're, we're off to Ginger Island tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a definitely a Ginger Island day, to say the least. Um, are we still working on our ancient seeds? Yeah, we got a couple more there. Oh man, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait, and we're gonna go crazy in a second here. Um, can I make another seed uh, maker? What what's required for that guy? This guy, one gold bar, ten coal. Okay, nine, ten, and a gold bar. Let's make another seed maker uh, just to, like, in the future, we got to speed up this process a little bit more than what we currently have. Um, hello? Anywhere? Thanks. 
That'd be great. Uh, a couple more to go there, and I think I'm going to actually go replace the cranberries for those guys as well while we're here. We might as well. It's something to do. It's something that we haven't really done. The other thing is, well, we got a lot of wood, so I'm going to start making a lot of coal because we can. Um, it'll slowly do its thing, do its process, and uh, yeah, we should come out with just a ton of coal uh, by the end of it, which, hey, I'm all for it. All right, the last few here, uh, I guess we'll just go across the top. Look at that. We're like over, like over halfway full now of ancient fruit. That is pretty darn awesome, to say the least. Obviously, it'll take a bit to grow and all that fun stuff, but hey, you know what? I'm going to take it while we got it. Um, in the meantime, I got a lot of things to do. Uh, we, oops, my bad. Sorry, tree. I'm going to chop down a few things while we're here, uh, just kind of keeping things cleaned up for the last part of today. And then we're off to Ginger Island together, I think, together tomorrow. Uh, what do you guys think about that? I think that sounds pretty darn swell. So uh, let me get this all done. Oh, my. Should we have a baby? Yes. Yes, we should. Let's, oh, baby, 242,000. Look at that beautiful sheet. Oh, my. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That truffle oil being almost 100 grand alone. Uh, thank you. I uh, thank you very much. That is beautiful, to say the least. All right. I am very happy about that. Let me get through the daily chores here. And uh, we will then head right on over to Ginger Island. Well, we are way, way, way behind where I wanted to be at this point. But I think I got everything that I, I hope. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm hoping so. It is raining here. Uh, this guy should give me another emerald. Okay, good. That confirms my needs in the south. So... Let's go handle what we know of so far. I think I'm even going to double speed while we're over here just to get around a little bit quicker than what we have been. All right. I hope I brought everything. I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So we have the topaz to the west and the emerald to the south. Voila. We got ourselves some more golden walnuts. Awesome. And that means our rainy bird quest is completed, which is good. Not a bad deal at all. And apparently, where did I get elvish jewelry from? I have no clue. Um, also, I think, I believe anyways, everything is grown here. So let's go talk to uh, Mr. Froggy. The land once seemed fresh. Uh, the thing be outside right now. Indeed. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Yes. Bombo pink. Bombo juicy. Indeed. I like to hear. Uh, bring me back to good old days. Sunny days when things are sweeter. Make me want a big juicy bite. But me won't. Okay. Good. Step one complete. Uh, here. This is for you. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, then we also... Uh, yellow tickling thing. Yes, I grow that outside right now, too. Beautiful. We are about to just slam up the golden coconuts like you wouldn't believe. Uh, yeah, you got the wheat. That's very good. <laughs> Reminding me of an old girlfriend. Uh, that tickle you, but I won't. Awesome. More to get here. Uh, yeah, good. This is for you. More golden walnuts. And last but not least, zesty ground fruit. That should be the garlic that we have outside. Beautiful. More and more golden walnuts. Now we can unlock the resort. Uh, very nice. Very good. There we go. Uh, yes, me remember everything now. Thank you for reminding me so much. This is the last reward for you. More golden walnuts. There we go. Excellent. 
That is great. That is fantastic. That is an amazing. And we got two more from that. That is also great. Uh, can't go wrong there. Uh, equally, we have some pineapples that we can harvest, which is good. These are a perpetual fruit. Not too shabby. Did that count for Pierre's? I don't know if it did. I don't know if... Was any of that a vegetable? Maybe the garlic? Anyways, all things considered, we have ourselves 20 beautiful golden walnuts. And we're going to go right here and we're going to unlock the resort. This is an important one. Go birdie power. Let's do it as we go. This is great because this unlocks people to be able to come over here. This does also unlock our ability to go to the east side. There is a siren here. I did not bring what I needed for her. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, this seems precarious. This is definitely pre precarious. There we go. There's another one in here. I don't remember where. Is it in the notes? I can't remember. Uh, Twas a range in day. Weapon enchantments. No, not that one. Got that one. Okay, maybe I don't have it yet. That's a possibility. This in here is also very good. It's another place to fish and things like that. But more importantly, uh, on Fridays, I think it is, there is a darts thing that we definitely want to get going. And you can get stingrays from in here, which is pretty darn cool too. I will definitely want to be grabbing some of that before too long. Um, I'm gonna have to... I don't remember. I need a note block, basically. I can't remember how many I need. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't recall. I think it's five, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so that's good. More quests done. That is fantastic. One other thing that's really good on here... That's ten. I don't think I want to unlock the shop just yet. I like the idea of the shop, don't get me wrong, but let's pop on up here and let's, uh, oh, ready to report, 22, nice, very good, um, let's donate to the museum, uh, yeah, mummified frog, very good, excellent, with this donation we got a full set complete, I've got a little something for you, collect rewards, another golden walnut. Um, what's the other thing? I can't remember. Hmm. All right. Last one is... Last one there. 18. Beautiful. A few more to go. Love it. Hint. Uh, panning. There's a good hint for you. And actually, on, um, Ginger Island, I was gonna say, panning is actually quite beneficial, uh, to say the least. So... That's a very good tip. The other reason I was debating coming out here is, well, I can get some stone while we're going about it. And apparently, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Holy cow. How much stuff did we just get? An artifact trove, another piece of elvish jewelry. Didn't really need that one. Um, all these bones we can utilize for sure um, in like making of fertilizer more than anything. Oops, did not mean to cut that down. That's okay. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna keep on going here. We got some ginger to harvest as well. No, nope. come here. Yeah, you, there we go. Okay, it's fine, no big deal. A rusty spur, okay, good. Speaking of panning, let's do a little bit. We got a gold panning, so what did we get? Iron ore and a fossilized tail. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Let's head on over there and let's get that done as well. Ooh, mushrooms. Let's go. Can't go wrong. I think we're going to sleep on Ginger Island tonight. Um, so don't worry about the time that much. I'm trying to debate what to unlock next. Let's donate. We got the vertebrae. Very good. We do need to... What other hints do you have? My nose is telling me in the western region of the island. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. 
All right. Um, we do need to unlock this guy, but I also kind of sort of want to unlock the farm a little bit more. It's a tough debate. How many do I have right now? I have 19. I think, you know what? Let's unlock the store. Yeah, let's do it. It is what it is. You know, we'll, we'll find more. We'll get enough anyways for everything. So let's get the store up and running. This will get us access to the banana trees and a few other things as well. So we can do warp totems with the uh, taro roots. That's very good. Pineapple seeds from magma caps. Um, oh, okay. Tropical chair. Interesting. But banana sapling and mango sapling are the big ones. So mussels and dragon teeth are pretty popular. A uh, palm wall ornament. Okay. Mahogany seeds. Okay. Okay. Uh, banana pudding recipe. 30 bones. Let's get it. Deluxe retaining soil. All right. Um, we had the bones. We might as well. No bones about it. Okay. I'm so happy that we have this resort up and running. I'm so happy the progress we've made with so many golden walnuts. I think this one's five. Nice. Let's go. Unlock that mailbox. Down to four now. We don't really need a mailbox over here. It's kind of useless, but... Or I'm kind of debating doing, like, the full kind of completion setup. You know what I mean? Why not, right? Okay, we do have some tarot tubers. I do want to plant them while well, we got them. Um, might as well. And I don't really have anything else. We got the fossilized legs and the rusty spurs. I think I'm just going to trash those. Get rid of them. Um, what else? The elvish jewelry. I'm just going to get rid of here. Um, any other junk that we don't really need? Probably. Uh... I'm going to grab some of this fiber that we have access to uh, on the farm and probably get the mussels to end our day here. Oh, baby, snake skull. Let's go. I like that. That sounds really good. So I think we do have to hit um, like our clovers or worms, which is basically what they are, um, for us to get that advantage. So good to know. Um, I also want to go kill the slimes and a few other things before our luck truly runs out. And there's a few extra details that obviously we need to capitalize on still here today. So much to do, so little time. All right, there we go. We got ourselves our slimes. Uh, let's kill them. It's getting dark, but uh, I'm going to throw on the uh, luck ring in hopes that uh, maybe we can get lucky with our drop of our golden walnut. I'm not sure if that matters, to be honest, uh, in the walnut chance, but uh, we might as well give it a shot. Okay. Did not seem to make a lack of difference. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Well, I think that's going to basically do it for us today. Um, there's not too much more. I might try to go fish a little bit, you know, things like that as we go. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, we are, we're sitting pretty good uh, here on Ginger Island. We're going to sleep here, which means we will be waking up with this wonderful, wonderful island here in the morning. I got another tarot root. Let's throw that down. Did I get any pineapple seeds? No, I did not. All right. So I think that's about it. I'm going to get some things done and uh, we'll move on from there. Bye bye wheat, bye garlic, bye melons, and a few other things too. So one of the last things that I want to do here is I want to make myself a bone mill as well. This guy, pretty darn sweet, where you can basically put bones into it, right? Not overly complicated by any means, but... Uh, yeah, I have no wood over here, which is a big problem, which means I got to go cut down some palm trees. Sorry, palm trees, but you got to go. I need some chests, to say the least, over here because, well, we need to at least get some stuff going, and I need some way to store some items 
out in our ginger island setup um luckily we do have palm trees so it's not like i have to go all the way back home to get some wood which is great um but at the same time yeah yeah you don't get a ton it's it's just a normal truth right so uh it's a thing it's a thing all right i think that means that we've capitalized on most stuff let's get ourselves a chest here and i'm gonna put this next to the bone mill itself and we'll put all of our bones in there and i am one short of another chest which is what i actually want is another chest so so that's 10 and the other one's 20 so we have quite a bit still to collect uh to say the least it's also starting to get late yes indeed and i am not close to the bed but that's okay um i'm gonna chop all these down they regrow automatically uh it's kind of like uh harvesting any tree in the village area um so luckily they do regrow hey we got a golden coconut nice oh yeah that is fantastic yes sirree let's go um that is huge to say the least all right so uh i'm gonna throw this guy down here and what all do we want to keep out here i'm gonna keep a little bit of wood we need to keep the mussels going uh we'll keep the pineapples the skull uh we'll keep as well the golden walnut we need to take back with us i'll start keeping some ginger here um, we'll start keeping the taro roots and all that type of stuff as well. But otherwise, I think everything else will come back with us. I could... Hmm, can we plant these up here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's plant a few uh, mahogany trees. Just like so. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to have to, uh, like I said before, we got to get the dragon teeth so that we can get ourselves... Um, can I move this? There we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We need to be a little bit more efficient than going all the way up there. Um, we need to get the dragon teeth so that we can start our endeavors on the banana trees as well. So, lots to get done to say the least. We're waking up on Ginger Island. Tune in next time to find out what we do.